There are possibly a billion YouTubers on the platform. While many have achieved success with their channels, numerous others have faded into obscurity or never gained traction at all. Some of these channels stand out as particularly disturbing, featuring people in strange masks or showcasing unsettling images. In today's video, we talk about YouTube's most disturbing channels. I'm gonna make this intro very short, but thank you for all the continuous support. And I am back from my little small break, which I didn't really announce in the first place, but follow me on all my social medias and let's get straight into this video. Kevin Leonardo. This first entry is more of a joke, but he has posted a few disturbing videos and some may say that Kevin Leonardo is a pretty disturbing channel. Kevin Leonardo first started his channel on September 7th, 2021. However, before he started YouTube, he was already popular on TikTok where he would tell stories about his past significant others. Kevin was a relatively small YouTuber until he posted his most viral video yet. On June 25th, 2023, Kevin would post a visual guide on how to remove butt hairs where three seconds into the video, he goatees himself and flashes the camera in 4k. This video is not censored at all and you do see everything. This video also surpassed 50 million views and went viral all over social media due to its shocking content. Although this video was intended solely for educational purposes, its graphic content led it to become an internet meme. It generated shock reactions on platforms like TikTok and Twitter, with some users tricking their family or friends into watching it to capture their reactions. Despite receiving some some positive and supportive feedback, the video also faced criticism. Some viewers claimed it was made to be provocative, deemed to be inappropriate, and argued it should be removed from YouTube. However, YouTube refused to take down the video, stating that it did not violate any guidelines, although YouTube did age restrict the video. Now, Kevin Leonardo is not the first person to make these educational videos because in middle school, I do remember being shown these type of videos in sex ed. So, Kevin Leonardo is not the first person to do it, and this has been a thing for many years. Now, to be fair, we did not look at removing butt hairs back in middle school, but you get what I'm trying to say. However, I do believe that people don't take Kevin as seriously due to the fact that he does make a lot of jokes in his videos, and due to his jokes, people don't take him seriously compared to actual graphic educational content creators. For example, after he received backlash from the Nair hair removal video, he made a parody apology video of Colleen Ballinger. That's because this video blew up during the same time as a contract controversy of Colleen. Recently, Kevin is receiving more backlash after doing blackface. On May 7th, 2024, Kevin reviewed the brand new Euphoria Dark Night Skin Tint Serum Foundation, which is the darkest foundation. Kevin, who has not made a single makeup video till now, decided to review it where he covered his face in it. Another controversial thing that he did in this video is that he referred to black people as the blacks. For the record, I'm not talking about Kevin Leonardo to cancel him because you can't really cancel anybody on the internet, but it does seem that Kevin Leonardo does engage in this rage bait content, so he's only saying that just to get a reaction out of viewers. No hate to the guy, but damn dude. <laughs> His videos are extreme and yeah, don't view his content. His channel is very disturbing because of the things he shows and I regret watching the Nair video. Piggy Soda In 2022, a new analog horror series surfaced on YouTube called Piggy Soda. In all of their videos, it features a dog man. It has the body of a man with the head of a dog. In the first video, you have somebody in bed watching two human dogs on TV who are mechanics. Throughout the video, you see the person who's watching the TV pull out a Polaroid photo. However, you can't tell what the photo is due to how dark the room is. The person in the video then puts the photo in front of the TV and then this happens. Right when he puts down the photo, you see this distorted picture of one of the dog people, but it quickly resumes back to the show that features the dog humans. After that weird abruption, the video ends. This video is extremely weird. Why is there someone watching these human dogs on TV, and why did this eerie image of the dog man appear? I can't answer those questions just yet because the Piggy Soda YouTube channel has posted more videos, and it seems that this is some type of analog horror series. In their second video titled, Dog Nightmares, childhood dreams, you see the video start off with an image of a giraffe. Afterwards, it cuts to a kid's drawing of a giraffe. This pattern continues as you see real life photos of animals as it cuts to childlike drawings of the previous images. But for whatever reason, this pattern breaks by showing random photos such as this one of a family. It seems that every time this analog horror series shows real photos of people, they censor out their faces with a black box, which gives a very uncanny eerie vibe to it. The video also cuts to images 
pictures of the home, which weirdly enough, I get a nostalgic vibe to. I think that's because this old photo looks similar to my old childhood house photos. Not because our places look similar, which they don't, but it's the fact that it has the similar camera quality and lighting. And when an analog horror video somehow uses nostalgia elements, it can captivate the watcher to engage in more of their analog horror. While the video shows off a few photos of the home, it later cuts to this image of a little girl standing in a hallway with her face censored out. This photo is pretty chilling. The video then cuts to somebody's POV, presumably the same person watching the TV in the first video. You see them picking up the drawings as we saw earlier, but then we see a drawing of the dog man outside of a window. The camera then pans to the window where you see nothing outside. However, if you light up the image, you could see the dog man outside. The next two videos on the channel are almost the same. Once again, a person is watching these dog man videos, which I do find a bit cute, not gonna lie. Look at this good boy, bro's fishing. But after we see the dog, it cuts to a camcorder recording from 2009, filming a missing dog poster. On the other video, it follows the same format. We see the show, but this time, the dogs are dressed up as waiters, chefs, and customers. But on the 32 second mark, you see the video glitch. If you go frame by frame, you can see the evil dog man appear for a quick second before it goes back to normal. The fifth video in this series starts off with a dog man dressed up as a fisherman once more. A few seconds into the video, it once again cuts to a camcorder recording, but this time it shows somebody putting up missing dog posters on a tree, and it is revealed that the dog is named Bailey. We then see something new. A note is revealed to us saying that somebody is calling the number on the missing dog poster, but it's quiet on the other end of the phone. Another note appears on screen saying that they've been gathering a lot of Wegman tapes. This actually answers the question why we are seeing a lot of these dog human videos, because William Wegman is the man behind creating these dog videos. In fact, this analog horror series is using his work from Sesame Street since these Wegman dog videos were featured on Sesame Street back in 1989. So it seems that somebody is watching these old Wegman tapes to hunt down some paranormal dog within the lore from the analog horror channel. I find it very unique how some analog horror channels use real shows within their analog horror series. In this same video, we find out the name of the main character, which is Emily. Emily is the girl watching these Wegman tapes, and we later find out that the girl in the hallway is a photo of Emily. However, her photos are still censored out, but this time with a drawing of a dog. Afterwards, we see a drawing of a young Emily holding hands with a man, but we can't see his face. But if you zoom into the drawing, you can see a tail, meaning that this is the dog man. Emily then decided to do some exploring in her house, which then this happens. Yeah, very creepy stuff. Piggy Soda aka Dog Nightmares has to be one of the best analog horror series out there at the moment, which I do recommend the watch and by the way, these analog horror videos are still being made till this day so the full lore isn't out there just yet, but I do recommend the watch. CC Lemon CC Lemon is this very obscure Japanese YouTube channel that showcases CC, I presume, looking into the camera for a while. In all of her videos, she is wearing an extremely creepy uncanny mask of a woman. In all of her videos, she doesn't say a word and you awkwardly hear the background sounds, but sometimes she would put Japanese music in the background. Weirdly enough, almost every video of hers is age restricted because it goes against community guidelines. I have no idea why, because in all of her videos, it's just her looking into the camera and there's nothing that goes against community guidelines from what I can see. Well she does have a video titled Belly where she plays with her stomach but that video is not explicit at all but for YouTube's sake I will be blurring it out just to be safe. She started her channel on February 26, 2008, and would post her first video in November of that same year. The video is titled, Agawa Studio Female Mask 4, and in this video, she is just looking at the camera without saying a word. She also appears to be very nipply, and from the looks of it, I believe it to be a full latex suit of a woman, meaning that CC is wearing a woman's mask that also has breasts attached to the mask. There is a good chance that CC is actually a man who is cross-dressing with a woman's mask, but I 
can't really confirm that since there is no face reveal video. The only thing close to a face reveal video is her third video where we see Cece taking off her latex mask where we then see that she's wearing another black latex mask underneath it which does look pretty scary. It doesn't really matter what gender they are because if a man or a woman dressed up like that it will be equally disturbing. Cece would post her last video on December 5th 2010 where once again she'll just look at the camera and not say a word. I'm very curious as to why she is making these types of videos but the question will never be answered. However I did find another channel that's similar to CC Lemon and the channel is called Simone Latour where once again you see somebody wearing these latex women masks staring into the camera without saying a single word. The channel was made on November 10th 2009 and Simone's last video was posted back in 2014. By looking at Simone's hands you can tell that she's much older than Cece and I'll admit that Simone's mask looks a bit more realistic as well. However, it is still very uncanny valley like. I wish I could add on more information about this community on YouTube, but it seems that all channels about this topic are very obscure. I would like to know more about this, but we reached a dead end. Overall, these videos do give me a very uncanny valley feeling. Breathe play. This YouTube channel by the name Breathe Play has some very disturbing videos posted to their channel. This channel was first created back in 2007 and has only 699 subscribers. Very small obscure YouTube channel that nobody has talked about until now. Look, I've been on YouTube for many years and I've seen many disturbing videos. But my god, this channel has posted one of the most disturbing videos of all time. This video made me lightheaded, shaking, and overall very disturbed. On August 5th, 2007, the channel posted this video titled Rebreather Testing, which is a 46 second long video of somebody suffocating. In this video, you see a man dressed in a black latex costume with an airbag attached to his nose and mouth. There are no air holes in this costume, meaning that the man inside the suit can't breathe. Visually, the video is disturbing, but what makes this video more disturbing is the audio. What you hear from this video is the man slowly losing his breath and by each second, he breathes heavier and heavier until he starts panicking for air. Although he is panicking, he is still wearing the mask while you hear his blood curdly screams underneath the latex mask. At one point in the video, he mumbles, I'm dying. The comments underneath the video are just as disturbing because some comments read, the ultimate video on YouTube, it never disappoints. I watched it thousands of times. I love the bit from 33 seconds where he's like calling for help. Would love to be doing stuff to him. For me, pleasure comes from the lack of oxygen, the aching it causes in my lungs. The feeling is indescribable. Nothing can compare to the lack of breath. I have accidentally stumbled upon gore before by some edgy middle schoolers showing it to me when I was in middle school. And I can confidently say that the video that I just talked about is easily comparable to actual gore videos. Although this YouTube video is not gory at all, but it is comparable to a gore video. The same YouTube channel also has two different uploads of somebody wearing a gas mask swimming underwater. For those who don't know, it's extremely dangerous to wear a gas mask underwater and it defeats the whole purpose of breathing. This whole channel is extremely weird. You got videos dedicated to the lack of breathing and the bizarre comments that get gratification from watching these videos. But why? As you can see, the name of the channel is called Breathe Play, so I decided to copy paste the name onto Google just to see if any additional information pops up. And it turns out that Breathe Play is some type of kink that people have. Breathe Play, also known as erotic asphyxiation, is the intentional restriction of oxygen to the brain for the purpose of sexual arousal. You can do it to yourself or to your partner consensually. This kink is very disturbing and dangerous, and I wouldn't recommend participating in this type of activity. 14.44 I can't fully show you guys this video because it is extremely gruesome. On October 30th, 2019, this channel called 37.5/6 would post a very strange video titled 14.44. The video starts off like this.
Afterwards, you get jump scared by a real photo of a flayed human which looks terrifying. And for the record, this looks nothing like the cartoon photos you see in school. Above the image of the flayed human, you see a message telling you to visit the link that is shown on screen. I hate to break it to you guys, but I am not clicking on that link because it is very sketchy and I don't trust it one bit. The channel also has more disturbing videos such as these. At the end of all of the videos, it flashes the same link. Although I said that I won't be clicking on it, I do have a good theory on what the link contains. As you remember, the video that features the flayed human is titled 14.44, and this could be referring to the 14.44 video. The 1444 video is an extremely controversial YouTube video that showcases a man offing himself. The reason why this video is extremely controversial is because YouTube put this video on recommendations, and it got many views. Worst part about it is that this video stayed up on the platform for weeks before YouTube eventually took it down. Another important thing to note is that if you read the comments, a lot of people claim to have found this channel through some ordinary gamers. Luckily for him, he does do deep research investigations on the dark web, so maybe Muda actually searched up the link. Sadly, it seems that Muda may have deleted the video where he talked about this channel because I spent hours going through his older videos, skimming through them, to try and find him talking about the Flayed Man video, but I couldn't find anything. Plus, Muda is no stranger on deleting some of his videos, which he has done in the past. If anybody knows what the link contains, please let me know in the comments below, but I do want to state that I don't recommend anyone to actually search up the link because something bad could happen. I legit don't know, so I don't encourage any of you guys to click on the link. Be safe out there. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. It truly does mean a lot to me and hopefully for June, I could just put a lot of content out for you guys because I truly love doing this thing and I'm actually happy for once doing like content. I was never burnt out for the record, but you know, sometimes you do need your small little breaks and I'm finally back, which I am very happy about. And hopefully I can make some IRL videos for you guys very soon because I got a lot of good stuff planned for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on all my social medias and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys.